welcome to lmp renewable system integrator today we are going to discuss about the siemens backnet routers model number pxg3l and pxg3.m okay what is the main purpose of its this uh, backnet routers is a system integration so we are going with the help of this backnet routers we can integrate okay uh, the existing field panels and also the third party equipments with the existing system that is the best advantage of this uh, backnet routers there are so many varieties are there uh, in Siemens we have two varieties we are going to discuss those two varieties today and uh, what are the things uh, come let's get into the topic so before I get into the topic we should have a doubt why should I know about this backnet routers okay uh, uh, let me tell you pretty clearly uh, you have so many panels in the field okay in the field you, are, you can use the application specific controllers for programming or you can establish uh, with the help of the DDC controllers or with the PLC controllers also even though with the, any sort of controller you establish okay but when you want to communicate your field panels with the panel at the remote locations through the network okay that too you know uh, quality network okay that too with the quality and easy network easy transfer network then you can go for this backnet routers if you go if you compare with the normal ethernet routers okay these backnet routers are uh, you know cost wise little uh, you know uh, little less when compared to the normal routers and also if you go for an advantage wise it, it has so many ways to transmit your signals okay either you can transmit your signal with uh, through the ethernet ports using this backnet routers or you can use lan network or you can go for with master slave transmission protocol that is mstp protocols so using all these protocols you can communicate with your servers through this backnet routers that's the best advantage of it and why we are going for this backnet routers see when you go into a building that might be you know so many systems you can see uh, there can be a fire alarm system there can be a light control system that there, there can be an um, you know escalators and elevators okay moving work like that uh, so many third party systems might be there so uh, all but commonly you know all these people try to use this backnet uh, network because the protocol is very much easier and also we can interface with these easily so that's the reason why so many people go for this uh, backnet routers if you're going for a building automation system or building management system you're controlling the hvac equipments okay you're controlling the electrical uh, monitoring okay energy meter equipments okay uh, with with all these things okay we can uh, communicate through this backnet routers that is the best advantage that's the reason why we should know about this backnet routers okay where can we see this in topic we are going to discuss where can we see this and how it looks like and what are the things as a building management system engineer or a building automation control system engineer or a technician we should know in this backnet routers so first where can we see this wherever the building management system is established building automation system is established we can see this backnet routers most importantly it is used in the buildings multi storage buildings it is used in the metro stations it is used in um, um, airports seaports okay and also it is used in you know uh, storage units in so many places we are using this backnet routers where multiple devices where you want to establish a system architecture network with uh, so many devices in such places you can go for this backnet routers because the main advantage of this is in a single backnet we can con uh, connect a minimum you know maximum around 12 devices around 12 devices uh, we can connect with these uh, backnet routers so that is advantage of this uh, backnet routers okay through looping technology through the master slave transmission protocols we can connect to more than uh, you know 12 equipments okay 12 field panels with these routers from the single router you can connect to with your uh, server panel from the server uh, through through the workstation we can access each and every field panel devices that is the advantage of this um, backnet uh, routers and most probably uh, you know for lighting control system also you know when they are plan to establish uh, combine the network and send the details to the server via the network switches they used to go for this backnet routers even fire alarm system also they used to uh, use this network uh, you know PAVA system they used to use this Okay, public addressing system um, and even CCTV camera also you know sometimes they used to go for this networks so using this routers we can communicate with any sort of technologies which is available in the field so we can communicate with the network switches from the network we can uh, see in our workstations so how it looks like this is how it looks like okay so if you go uh, classify if you want to classify this backnet routers there is backnet IP routers backnet through uh, to LAN network and backnet MSTP 
like this we can classify this uh, uh, we can use these uh, backlit loaders for these three purposes we have two models available PXG3L and PXG3M so in the PXG3L uh, okay IP long okay uh, long talk and MSTP all the three will be available and in PXG3M IP and MSTP will be available okay and this is uh, an example of PXG3L real time photos and this is an example of uh, real time picture of uh, PXG3M see here we have um, power connections we have uh, ethernet connections okay we have the mstp connection and when we see this one we have a lan connection we have the mstp connection and we have the power connection we have the ethernet connection so so this is a simple system architecture when you are using uh, 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 you know when you are controlling the equipments with the desigo inside then through the backnet ip okay uh, we can communicate with the different field devices so we can establish even communication with the third party devices as well with the help of this backnet so as we told earlier if you are going for this PXG3L model we have two ethernet ports we have a LAN works and also we have a MSTP and if you are going for a PXG3M model then it is we have ethernet ports and MSTP ports ok and most probably if you are going to make any sort of uh, you know um, updations or a restarting purpose then you can use this uh, switch number button number one okay when, when you want to reset the device to the factory state by resetting the button one you know by pressing that one we can reset uh, the physical identification of the network okay uh, so we can reset the device to the factory state there are so many leds okay uh, we have a uh, led indication for run we have a uh, led indication for the fault alarm uh, we have um, you know led indication for the communication okay we have the led indication for the svz and we have the led indication for the ethernet okay we have different different identification if the run button is green it means the device is ready if it is off means that is there is some issue with the power supply and if it is flashing means just now it is starting up and if you have a fault L a red led glowing it means uh, uh, if it is on uh, if it is uh, on means some hardware or program fault is there if it is fault then it is ok and if you are the com, com port 1 is yellow it means uh, MSTP packages are sending you know if, if it is flashing they are um, master slave transmission protocol are sending and receiving some data with each other if com 2 port is there this will be available only in the loan works ok if it is flashing it means it is sending some data ok and if SVC uh, is red color if it is continuously off it means it is configured one if it is on it means the defective hardware is there if it is flashing means it is still unconfigured ok next if you go for ethernet if it is in the green color uh, then it is continuously on means the link is active if uh, the LED is off green LED is off it means the link is inactive and if it is flashing it means network activity is happening and if you go for a yellow indication okay when it is continuously on means the link okay we are getting a uh, the network speed of around 100 mbps okay, if you are going if the uh, the yellow led is continuously off means means uh, the link and uh, the speed is only 10 mbps so these are the you know identification connection terminal and the interfacing points so this is a power terminal 24 volt ac and this is uh, 1 and 2 will be there two RJ45 jacks for the ethernet connections and this is for MSTP interface and uh, this one is for uh, and this one is for um, LAN interface ok and if you want to you know service uh, reset the uh, your backnode router to factory settings then you can press the service button and uh, this HMI port will be available only with the uh, PXG3L model okay and also this model CLA and B loan interface will be available only with PXG3 L model so as we told earlier we have a operating voltage pins that is 24 volt AC supply okay for the LAN we have the separate pins and for the MSTP we have the separate pins so in both the models we have the MSTP and the, as well as the uh, normal uh, e uh, ethernet connection RG45 pin assignments we have okay so um, we we all might have a doubt that uh, how uh, you know application specific controllers 
we are connecting with the routers how it is getting here so this is a simple system architecture which explains to you clearly how the backnet routers are getting connected with the different uh, you know application specific controllers in the field these application specific controllers can be used for uh, controlling the VAVs in certain places we can use these controllers for controlling the fan curl units also the master can be a device which can which controls a VAV or it can also be a device which controls the fan curl units so this is an example of a typical architecture see here you have a master these are the slave so we assign different slave IDs to all these things around 12 devices in a single network we can connect okay if you have a multi storage buildings then we have a multiple networks but still in a single loop we can connect around 12 devices so those 12 devices will communicate with this magnet routers here we get shown the two models L as well as again PHG3 L and PHG3 M both the types we mentioned both we can establish the MSTP uh, network as we told earlier um, uh, uh, we are communicating with uh, you know uh, the uh, different uh, uh, field uh, application specific controllers with uh, different slave IDs the first one will be the master and the others will be the slaves okay and see here from here uh, through the Ethernet we are con connecting it with the server from the server we can see in our workstations we can access the each and every devices and for the uh, backnet routers to run properly we need to give it to 24 volt AC supply this is a simple application how it is established in the building management system backnet IP and these are all the field VAV you know uh, devices and if you are going for a building management system as we told earlier we have a server we have a workstation we have a client okay we have an operating control panel you know uh, we can perform all the controlling operation for air handling units chillers fan coil units boilers pumps variable frequency types and we can manage the operation of fire alarm system okay escalators elevators energy meters water meters cctvs so we can classify the network into three categories management level network automation level network and field panel network so from the field panel network uh, and to the automation network you know we need backnet routers thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us we had provided the contact details here we are providing design installation testing and commissioning support for building automation building management system and the home automation systems and we are also providing you know basic training okay if you if you had a plan to work in a gcc oman qatar uh, uae saudi arabia you are getting a chance to work in automation industry uh, th that too you know along with the siemens or with the schneider you know the conceptually every con everything is going to be the same okay only little little uh, small changes in the software will be different but uh, the basic is going to be the same so the session will be useful one if you want to really work in a, a gcc with a good salary if you are a from a person from a core industry like a uh, electrical and electronic industry electronic and instrumentation industry or electronic and communication industry you're really interested to work in the automation industry uh, so you can contact us we have we are providing a training along with the certifications if you are a college student and you had a plan after your graduation you had a plan to work in the abroad uh, that too in the gcc countries uh, you're you're getting a chance to work in automation then for sure this uh, sessions uh, the training that we are providing uh, will is going to be a useful session so you can contact us we can provide the contact details in it and if you have a plan to work in access control system if you want to know the basics of this access control system then you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and also we are providing solar on grid off grid and hybrid design installation testing and commissioning supports also if you are really interested you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and also if you want to know the electrical vehicle basics also you can contact us we have provided the contact details here thank you so much